Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we're back with another The Sandbox video. This time we are gonna take a look at The Hidden Village. Uh, I'm in the portal hub right now, and you can see that uh, there is a portal here to Hidden Village. And we are going to complete, uh, looks like 11 quests here. So um, that will put us uh, over our level one, um, since we needed to complete 10 of those to earn our first batch of tickets. So in the course of this, we will both unlock level one and also find out how many quests we have to complete to, uh, to earn the 50 tickets that are part of level two. So with that, we're gonna head on over to Hidden Village. All right, and here we are at Hidden Village. And of course, our first quest is always collect Voxelite. So it looks like we're gonna to have to find 40 here. And this experience is the first where we're really gonna get a chance to see what the potential of the sandbox is for uh, role-playing games and how some of the um, NFTs come into play, such as armor and weapons. So with that, let's, uh, let's get into it. All right, so we are in the territory of the oracles. So she's not gonna enter the village, okay, but why would you want to enter? All right, so they want us to clean up all of the voxelite. Yep, we have that one already. Okay, let's, uh, we'll start here. So it looks like there's not too many. Make sure you head to the element cave. All right, so that opens up a new quest for us. Finish the air and fire tutorial. So we're gonna need to jump in here. All right, so this is just telling us, it's giving us a little explainer, uh, space to jump and hold shift and space for a mightier leap. And so that's part of what we're gonna be tested on here, right? Is can we make these jumps? Let's see if there's anything down here. Doesn't look like it. All right, so we're gonna go through a little bit of an onboarding. So here we need to do a big leap. All right. And we have to drop down in another hole. Okay, let's check this out. So we've got a katana, an axe, basic sword. There's a lot of equipment here, yep. Oh, a steam sword and some armor. Okay, so no surprise here. We're gonna left click to swing our sword and we're gonna shift, press shift once to dodge an attack. Press I to view our inventory. All right, so here we get to see uh, all the in NFT inventory. So each of these is actually uh, an NFT, but you can see um, on this card here, it says it's a local. So it only exists in this experience. It's not something we can take with us. Uh, presumably if I had bought something in the marketplace uh, that had some additional powers, um, you know, I would, I would go with that, but we'll just double click each of these to equip them. And then I'm gonna go with the, looks like they all have a power 25. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the ax. You can also drag these over and place them. All right. So left click is a swing, right click is a block, and that's a roll, that's a shift, it's a little combat roll. Okay, how many do we need to take care of here? Too easy, right? It's definitely going to get harder from here. Alright, talk to the villagers and find out how to help. Help around. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of additional quests here. 
Um, let's just start with our metaverse guide like we always do. We've got two points of interest, Lonely Goblin Island and the House of Heights. Okay, so we'll, we'll definitely do that. And let's just unlock. Red cap mushrooms are lucky charms, so let's unlock this one as well. We gotta find five red cap mushrooms. Okay, so voxelite, mushrooms, and our points of interest. So the first one's over here. Let's go ahead and grab these. Let's take a look around actually. Okay, so there's some voxelite there, voxelite there. All right, let's just get to it. Here's our first point of interest, Lonely Goblin Island, and it's called that because we've got one lonely goblin, or at least one. All right, well, there's nothing hidden around this side. There is a warrior sword. Let's see if that's any better. 25, and it's not, so we'll just stick with what we've got. Remember, you can climb these vines. Doesn't look to be anything there. Now before we move on, I want to make sure we've checked out everything here. In case we've got anything hidden in the back. Doesn't look like it. And you can definitely stop and talk to some of these NPCs that are here. Okay, so this is sort of hidden, not hidden all that well, but you know, you do want to make sure that's a good example of why you want to make sure you're constantly looking around and exploring as much as you can. What's this? There we go. We got a chest with some extra voxelite. to jump to get to that one. Little owl. Nice view. All right, so we're gonna need to get down there. Looks like we might as well go ahead and get this quest. So we need to go to the temple and pray at the altar. The only way is through the forest, but there's some aggressive neighbors. So we are not allergic to goblins. We're gonna kick some goblin butt. All right, come on guys. So a little bit of banter, and then we can take these guys out. Now, if you hold down your left key, the power attack will build up. All right, you can see we did take some damage if you look in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm down to 60 health out of 100. Okay. And looks like we have a Chris knife or Chris sword. We're not allowed inside the cave. Okay. So maybe there's a way to open that up. Don't know. Okay, we want to do want to make sure we fully explore. Do 
doesn't look like there's anything there, but let's get down. Yeah, see this one would be easy to miss. If you didn't come down this way. So there's our second mushroom. All right, now I think we have to get up there. our health here they're getting a little low oh all right so we're gonna go to that chest get a little extra vox light let's check this I don't see anything hidden up on that cliff face I don't know if we can get back up high enough so worst case we yeah, we fall, we'll have to do it over. It's a good thing you don't take damage from falls. All right. objective figure out a way to get into the recruit temple and pray to mother nature all right before we head over there let's just make a quick look don't see any mushrooms hidden around here like I said there is some dialogue um, it's not essential that you listen to all it so these little pillars here will recharge your life for you. Okay, here's another location. So now we've found all of our points of interest. We've cleared that one off. There's a path hidden in the shadows. Okay. All right, now that's back to the start, so we don't want to go through there. Whoops. Just make sure we look around. There's Vox Light up there. I'm gonna need to stop falling off this ladder. Aha, uh -huh. so there's a ladder. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of tucked away. Not too hard to find, but you do need to pay attention. Okay, so we have to get in this temple. Light. All right, so this is going to be a little bit harder. We can jump away. Oh, and we got hit. All right, so that's pretty bad. Let's go get ourselves recharged. Now, see, he didn't gain any health, so worst case, we'll let him hit us, and you'll see that, uh, actually, maybe I'll do that, let him hit us. There's one. So if we die, we don't have to start all the way over again. We go back to the closest portal, um, seems like anyways, just from this one example, it's the closest portal to you, where you died. There we 
go. All right, so we're still looking for voxelite and mushrooms, and we have to figure out how to get into this temple. All right, so we're gonna come back to this the temple in a second. Yeah, this is all not here on accident. Okay, that's an interesting, I'm not sure what to make of that. Looks funny, I can see human forms through them sometimes. Hmm, okay, it's not an additional quest. I don't know, maybe somebody gets the reference and I'm not getting it. You can let me know in the comments. Okay, so a little bit of parkour action here. Um, pretty close to the top. Oh, there's more up there. All right, so how are we getting up there? So we can keep going up, but before we do, let's get over here just to see. There's the rubber ducky, as always, hidden away somewhere. Doesn't look like there's any box light up here, though. Can we go higher? Okay. Oh, there was a dagger. I wonder if that's up here, or was that down by the, um, must have been dropped by the spider. <clears throat> so we'll be back down there to check that. Okay, here's another mushroom. Now we've got four. Okay, looks like there's a chest right there. Oh, we missed it. Looks like we can drop into the temple. and then pull the sword. Okay, so this is how we can pray at the temple. Let's see. Benevolent nature protect us and guide us through light and darkness, through day and night. Um, and so it shall be until the end of times. <laughs> Hold on a second. Before we drop down here, let's take a look at an alternate way to get into this temple. Kind of cruised past it earlier, but right here, I don't know if you see that little white dot. Oh, hello, Mr. Deer, get the heck out of the way. There's a lever, and you can pull this lever, which will open up the temple as well. So that's another way to get to it. And the other thing I didn't come back for, but I'll grab now, is the dagger from fighting the giant weaver spider. Now, it's really not that necessary because the dagger's it's got 25 power just like my axe, so not really that useful, but if you do want to make sure you collect everything, that's where it is. Now, let's get back to falling. Oh, a little trap action going on. All right. <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Oh, there is our last red mushroom. Um, okay, so let's see, let's gather up this extra armor, let's see if this do anything. Okay, so before we head over there, let's see what we got. Now these are marked as NFTs, um, presumably they would last, they would persist outside of the local experience where 
you can see this one says local where this one has um, you know what its its attributes are so power of 21 defense of 20 we'll go ahead and put chest armor and blade of the oracle which has a 30 power versus the axe which has 25 so certainly going to go with that blade okay let's see here all right that must mean we completed our voxel lights so you can press q yeah so we must have found enough voxel light cubes already to get more just incidentally getting through here and we could take a hit there okay let's not forget our mushroom there's some nft art here oh damn it All right, <clears throat> so we resp oh, that's a respawn point. Got that's what that is. Okay. So the swamp water isn't something we're gonna just wade through. Apparently, we'll have to respawn if we fall in there. Certainly not the end of the world, but could mean we have to go through this a few times. There we go. Oh, I thought we could make that jump. We gotta figure out how to get ourselves out of here. You can see our health is up to 167 with the bonuses we obtained. All right, and we've got another spider, of course. anything. Oh, this gets pain. Okay, we can recharge our health here. It looks like this is the only way out. So down we go. So we have the Oracle's shield, the Oracle's leg armor. Helmet, so let's go ahead and equip those. You can see these all have nice little buffs. So now our health is up to 387. Starting, well, we started at 100. So this armor is giving us some nice, nice buffs. Pretty cool looking, too. It'd be nice if we were able to hang on to it. All right, so. Cole the cave keeper tells us it's true what my partner sense the cave has collapsed bad news you bring here seeker <laughs> okay nice to see you uh, let's see the place is crawling with imps I don't like imps the sense where they are coming from nature is wise like that so what are we gonna do uh, there are three summoner eggs laying around the cave we must destroy them if we want to stop this invasion so we have to you can see the little yellow bullseye here here Looks like there's one up here too. So we're gonna prioritize going after them. Um, let's do it. All right. Yeah, see, cause they're spawning. Spawning skeleton warriors and these golems are gonna be pretty difficult. Yeah, it's just gonna keep spawning. 
So let's prioritize going after the eggs rather than fighting these guys. There we go. And once we got that egg, we need to say the final goodbye. Go back to Summit Village and brief Chief Pranja about the enemy attack. All right, I guess there's nothing else for that guy to say. All right, this is the cave entrance that was covered up earlier. All right, the portal located in the village is now open. So that's gonna, I guess, let me go back. Hope to see the, uh, let's say, we'll take a look around. Okay, so you can see we hit level two. Uh, if you look over on the right, and we have completed 10 of 20 quests. So we were at nine quests completed. Uh, Hidden Village, which we just finished, had 11, so that gives us 20, so 10 unlocked. Uh, level two, and we've got to come. We've got to complete another ten to finish level two. And you can see there's a little tab key that's glowing. So let's hit that. So congratulations, you've reached level two. Let's go see our rewards. All right, and here we are. You can see that we have gotten our thirty tickets uh, for level one, and we've unlocked level two. So we know we've got to complete ten more quests to finish off level two. Um, and uh, then we can start to see what's in level three. And if we go back to our map, we can now see that Hidden Village now has a check mark next to it. And we've completed 11 of 11 quests. All right, and uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you got something out of it and uh, wanna see more of these, please do leave a like, it really does help the channel. And if you wanna be notified when future videos come out, uh, consider subscribing and as always thank you so much for all your support really appreciate it and we'll see you back here soon